All right, we recording finally. Is it working? Oh, I I don't know if this is gonna work until I finish it, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna test it. I'm too tired and and um, sober and uh. Oh man, uh, there's nothing left. Basically, I've been working on this for hours and it's, none of this works. Just close it. It's so hard to record a recording of a recording of a video of a game. You know? You know? Can you imagine? Then I've tried everything and I've put so much rubbish on my computer now. But I think it's working now. You can see the second window, right? And you can see you can see this, I assume. Okay, so basically to record um this video is about recording um how to record uh, your gameplay on Elite Dangerous when you're playing on the Oculus Rift. Um, and this can be done quite easily. Um, if you need a fairly fast computer, but I'll show you how you do it. The first thing you do is you go to the forums and then you go into the VR discussion support and there's a sticky thread called Oculus Rift Second Window. And it tells you here exactly how to change this setting, this file so that you can put in these things and then you're able then when you play the game with the Oculus Rift, this window comes up that basically mirrors everything you do. Yeah, makes sense. Um, so do that, but you need to put in a custom resolution, and that custom resolution is displayed over here. This is a very good program. What it does is it automatically writes this stuff for you in all the different places. I'm not going to go into the details, but basically, the resolution you want for recording is that. Why is it not 1280 by 1440, which would be more natural? Well, because, for some reason, this resolution includes these borders here. This one and this one. So, you need it slightly wider than it should be, so that when you use this to record and you take a, a specific section out of there it's going to be in between those borders and they're not going to come up if you look at some of my earlier videos i made that mistake and you see some borders on one of the sides or both of the sides okay oh yeah um so basically now this is what you need to do you get a free program called open broadcast software capiche capiche right and then you need to create a scene which you've done, which I'm not going to say, so just make a normal scene. And then you need to create a source. I've already got one, but I'm going to show you how you do it. Right click, add window capture, call it whatever you want Oculus Rift Sober Window Guide for the People James Dr. Kai, not Doctor. And my name isn't James. Okay, this, whatever. It doesn't really matter. You know? Okay, so then you pick your window, and that will be in this case Elite Dangerous, I think. Yeah, Elite Dangerous. Okay, good. And then you say subregion, and then you do, and then you do one two eight zero by seven twenty. You're not finished there because you need to select region. So what you do is then you drag this down to about about there. Can you see? Because that. I don't know. You have to fiddle, but it's sort of it's it's like the lower th lower half of this what's displayed on this screen, and then you need to like go, make sure it, this thing's in the way. But I'll let you fiddle. Basically, you want to make sure that this inner line here is basically coming to the edge there, which it's not letting me do for some reason right now. Probably because there's other stuff in the way. Oh no, it is. Okay, so it's good. Now you're not going to overlap. Then you hit enter, and then if it's worked, you click OK. Um, if it's worked, you need to preview stream and look. It's not going to be recording that. Da, 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 da. And that's it, basically. Um, so that's it. And sometimes you'll find that you have to go back into this double click um, and then you do set base resolution because the base resolution is going to be the resolution of the video. I was just pointing at the screen with my hands, assuming you could see me because I'm an idiot. Um, so, uh, yeah, and then what you do is um oh yeah uh so you um what is that where am i what is this where am i ralph you biggie he's asleep he's drunk um and what you do then is you is then yeah so the base resolution be set to your screen and this is only 720p so it's going to come with a little window so you just click set, set base resolution and you stop preview and then preview stream again and uh, voila, it should work. Um, but, oh yeah, so now we need to go to actual recording settings. So I'm going to show you mine, my high ones and my low ones, okay? For best is my high ones. And you copy this, you 
I'd use NVIDIA N NV Ink, which is basically faster. Um, but if you've got a fast enough computer, fast enough computer, you do everything exactly the same except X two six four, which is a good encoder. You don't use CBR constant bit rate. You don't want that. You want um, a variable bit rate. Um, and I set my max to what, ten thousand, which is good. Quality balance maximum. Use custom buffer size of zero. Um, MP three is good. And then you go to advanced. Um, and so yeah, high quality, low latency. If you've got loads of space, you can do you can do lossless, which is just basically raw, like fraps. So it's going to be massive, but it's going to be completely lossless. And then you can edit it and come up with something really good if you're good at that. Um, but high quality, low latency is quite a high file size. But oh, and the CRF I put to five because that's really low. But eight is also good. Um, that's basically it's like the quality. Um, Google it. I'm not going to tell you how. Um, uh, CFR is constant frame rate, you want that. Um, encode full in full range, that's going to make it a very dark. I think people usually have that off as general practice for video recording, but I don't know. Um, allow this one, that's fine. Um, and then you can set your... Yeah, okay, fine. And then you can set your, um, your video defaults. You don't want any downscaling. Um, frame rate is 30 is good. Um, you set your location for recording. And you set a hotkey. Mine is just comma, which is kind of annoying because when I'm typing, I keep recording and not recording. I don't have a thousand recording files. It's not good. And yeah, and that's it. And then for the low one, if like you want a really small file size, because you're not too worried about quality, like you're making a guide video, for example, like this. Um, and then so then my settings are like this. Oops, it's um, same over here, but I use just NV default. Um, a lot of people say that using X264 with only a thousand here for some reason, I don't know how that works, but you can also use 10,000. Um, no. Actually, yes. What's going on? Me? Yes! Okay, um, and then you use fast or faster or very fast because um, because you're going to be playing a game while recording, and if it's too low, then it's going to take up too much of your CPU. Whenever I do that, I get loads of gaps in the recording where it freezes. Um, and then use these settings. So anyway, my homework that I'm going to set for you oh, yeah, damn. Um, is oh, I get such a headache. Oi. So basically, the homework that I'm going to set to you is can someone come up with a very good profile that records really well on not the best computer ever and then show me how to encode it in a way that I could put on YouTube that would be very, very good. Um, and yeah, and then you'll get internet points. I have quite a lot in my in my bag and I need to sh get rid of them. So you can have them if you can come up with a very good recording quality um, profile and also um, next week I'm gonna do basically a video on how to just basically record any game because I guess that's a bit more reaching out to a wider audience and I like wide audiences I don't like thin audiences it's just a bit lanky you know what I mean? I know what you mean. Okay so I'm gonna hit the stop recording button and hopefully this has all worked if not I'm just gonna do it all over again but by then I'll probably be passed out so we'll have to just do a video next week See you later.